This is for Colin and Ryan. We actually have a game called Who's Ryan? And who's Ryan's anyway? This is Colin. He's Ryan. Put this in your pocket. Don't look at him. What happens is uh, once in a while before the show, we ask the audience to write things down. And uh, one of the things we have them write down is random lines that people can say in a scene. They're going to put them in their pocket. They're not going to look at them. But they have to use the lines in the scene somehow. They have to find an excuse to put them in the scene. The scene is Indiana Jones, played by Ryan, <laughs> and his feisty female companion, played by Colin. You know, you're always the female companion, but at least you're feisty or something, you know what I mean? Yes, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're trapped in a snake-infested Egyptian tomb, and their torches are about to go out. Uh-oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Damn snakes! I thought you were scared of snakes. I'm feisty! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I... I'm sorry I got you into this. Oh! What were you doing with that thing? Sorry. Oh, Indy, I love you. Really? Sure, what the heck? <laughs> Too late to tell me now. How are we going to get out of here? Wait. Small hole with light coming through up there. Oh. <laughs> well, we could wander up there, and you and I could. Ah! Get up. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's stepping on the stage. She's stepping on the stage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not good with a torch. You're not good with women either. What? As a little tip, if you want someone to feel loved with you, don't stick a torch in their face. So I didn't say the right words to you. Is that, is that right? That's right. You should have been tender. You should have looked into my eyes and said, let me script for you, big boy. <laughs> Except I would have been gone big and you boy and you would have been upset about that. No, I wouldn't have because I'm very in touch with my inner boy. <laughs> All right, well... Sir. Well, that's just silly. Look, we're going to get out of here. All right. I want to... Well, I want to have your kids someday since we're playing the weird, goofy game. That's right. I want to be the girl in the relationship. I want to be the one to get up in the morning, roll you over and say, you are a one ugly woman. I had never been this hot in my life. Oh. But first, let's get out of here. Right. I didn't... Wait, my whip. My whip, I can try to snag that stump sticking out of the hole and pull ourselves up. The stump by the little hole? Yes. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong? My torch is out. Your whip! Your whip! Your whip! The whip went in my eye. If you're going to complain about everything, I'll crawl out the hole myself. Oh, 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 oh. Just think you're going to get sex later. You know, I... my father was right about you. Oh. Yeah, he said that girl, that girl you're with, time to make a booty call. <laughs> and I had no idea what that meant. So I didn't make a booty call. You take the whip. You crawl out yourself. I'll stay here and fight the snakes. Give me your torch. It's in your pocket now. You're probably on fire. I don't want to talk about it Take anymore. this whip. Climb out. I'll hold the snakes back. I can't go without you. Oh, look, a door. Come here. I'm glad that adventure's over. I was a fool. Sometimes I... Wait a minute. These are rubber snakes. You've done this to get me here, haven't I you? I did. I, you seem to be a little intimidated by my feistiness, and I thought maybe this would help you say the words every girl wants to hear. Those ones I've said already. Come but on, spit it out. I want you once again, after this great adventure, and you were very brave in the other room. <laughs> you all right? I'm all right. I want you, just, just rub me like that. And I want you to lean over and whisper into my ear. Rub my rump and call me Lewis. Uh, so for Colin and Ryan, why don't you come forward and get your lines. Now, we asked the audience before the show to write down random lines. Uh, we put a couple of them in uh, these envelopes here. They're going to stick them in their pocket. And they have to use these lines during the scene. Here's your scene. Hold up in a shack surrounded by outlaws. Lone Ranger Colin and uh, Ryan, Tonto, 
Try to work out a plan. Try to work out a plan. You have to use the random lines that are in your pocket right now. That you oh, we in trouble, Kimasabe. That's right, my trusty Indian companion. Here we are, trapped in this shack without laws around us. Oh, you have plan? No. Oh. You leave it to Tonto? Well, why don't you pull your weight? I've been saving our bacon for the last 15 years. Maybe I will, Kimasabe. All right, good friend. Among my tribe, among the Cherokee, we have a saying. What would that be? It is, kiss me, baby, you look great. All right. Come on, No, come on, now, come on. Now, come so on. What is your problem, Kimisabe? No problem. We I... worked together 20 years, you can't kiss me. I like you as a friend. Uh, oh. Maybe once we get out here, out of... Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> All right. Now that we've found this love, there's a reason for us to get out of here. Silver, better. Oh, come on. Silver cheeks. Kimasabi, what? No people out there. Oh, no God. It could be a trap, my faithful mm. companion. Look at the inordinate amount of cactus. What are you doing? Me listen to neighbors downstairs. Anything? Nothing. <laughs> nice try, though. I thought maybe they'd help. No. I say we make a dash for it. Kimasabi, what? We can't make dash. People will talk of us years to come. They say Kimosabi, or Long Ranger, and Tonto. Oh, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> and people must eat yellow snow, Kimosabi. What? Uh, my people. What is that? Uh, <laughs> a long story. All right. All right, I've got a plan. I hope so. <laughs> Listen very carefully. All right. No, not that clear. Oh. I'm going to go out there and shout my Kimo Saibi war cry. Right. When that happens, you come out, your guns are blazing. If I run out of gun, I throw gun. If run out of bullet. Right. Right. If run out of gun, I throw horse. You know what? Oh. Why don't you strip down to your underwear, pretend you're Tarzan? Kimo Saibi. No. Oh. You know, I liked it when you said it like that. <laughs> Once more before you guys say. All right. Kimosabi. All right, stop. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. If this doesn't work, well, I'll be dead, so. <laughs> Why do men have nipples? Kimosabi.